So Sean, a lot of the AGJ kids travel, um, whether locally or across the country to play in their tournaments. Um, how big of a role does that play in kind of the preparation for the event? And then what are some of the things your guys on tour do to be prepared when they start to play? You know, the travel affects everyone differently. Um, I'm 45 now, and I started on the PGA Tour at about 32. And so I've flown to China, to Dubai, to England, to all these places. And the older I get, it has much more of an effect on me than it used to, right? Mm. But I'm not at a point where my cells are multiplying, right? They're going the other way, all right? We're at that point. Um, I'm on the 10th tee of life at this point, all right? I got nine holes left. Um, with traveling, understand when you're in a plane, and you're that far from the Earth's surface and you're that much closer to the sun, radiation goes up by a lot, okay? Even flight attendants and pilots, they're tested for radiation levels all the time because it's really unhealthy. Obviously, radiation is a massive cause of cancer. And also in the air, we dehydrate way faster, okay? Yeah. When you're on the golf course and you've been in that time zone and your body's used to you know, the circadian rhythms of the body. You're used to going to bed at this time and this time, and now that's flipped. You, know, you just have to pay attention to how it affects you, but you cannot hydrate enough. Mm -hmm. You can't hydrate enough. And then when you get to where you get, say it's six o'clock at night, if you're tired, sleep. Even if it means you wake up at 3.30 in the morning, that's okay, you'll catch up to that. But a lot of guys try to push themselves like till where they're really tired and then go to sleep, then wake up at one in the morning anyways, because of the circadian rhythms and because of the natural process of what you're used to. Yeah. So I used to do it to where I'd stay up all day and all night and go to sleep and then I couldn't sleep. Yeah. Um, now I'm in trouble. So if it's three o'clock and you're tired already, just go back to the hotel and catch sleep while you can. You have to sleep, that's super important. Mm. But really realize that you know when we fly, we get inflamed so you can't hydrate enough. Um, and then one of the other things that you should do too is when you land, you have to ground yourself because we've, as we've been up in the, in the flight, we've got all these negative electrons on us. So we have to dissipate those negative electrons. So if you're lucky enough to be at a place like where you're very close to salt water, go for a swim. That'll neutralize you back to where you were. When you get off the plane, you go to the hotel, if there's a lawn outside, go out, take your shoes off and your socks off and just walk on the lawn for 20 minutes. Use the, use the energy from the earth to ground you again and put you back. The other thing that you can do is you can buy them at the store, you can get them on Amazon or Google. Get a grounding cable. So what a grounding cable is, you put it around your arm and then as you go to sleep, you plug it into the wall. And what happens is that energy and electricity will come back into your system and ground you and relegate you back to your normal uh, normal levels. So those things are key too. Look, if you're an AJJ player and you live in Asia and you're flying over here often, um, knowing that you can probably afford it because of what you're doing, get a radiation blanket. So you get this radiation blanket, it's just a small blanket, you put it on you, uh, and that will really help with recovery from those long flights. So th all those ideas are ways that scientifically I've learned that it can help you with it. Um, and then just also remember that, you know, the fatigue is going to make you think that things aren't as good as they need to be. Um, but you've just been sitting on a plane for 10 hours in a position like this. And then the ask of you is that you have to go out and now move in a really authentic and beautiful way. So make sure that when you get off a plane, you start making some movements. Yeah.